Breaking news. Biafra, Simon Ekpa reveals who blocked his group cessation petition at African Union Commission. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people. Once again, welcome you to this wonderful YouTube platform. This is Let's Talk TV, your one and only updated YouTube channel that gives you more information. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you will be you will be notified whenever we drop our spanking news now let us go straight up to the issue on ground because um africa generally we continue to be you know a corrupt um continent that is why it's as if you know they are not excelling where others are excelling where other continents are excelling because of the level of corruption in every african country the petition that the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa dropped, you know, was actually blocked because of their corrupt practices. And it was blocked by Anna Foncha. But let us give you the news in detail so that we uh, will not waste time on this issue again. The news reads, The African Commission on Human and People's Rights, an institution of the African Union, has received a petition on behalf of African Biafran Declaration of Self-Rule. The Biafran Republic government in Ezai Bridge, led by Simon Epa, claims that Abiola Idou Ojo, Nigerian representative, unfairly blocked the petition. The Prime Minister Simon Epa, the Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic government in Ezai, made the assertion in a statement that was uploaded on his ESC account on Monday. He said, that in the midst of violation of Biafran's rights, the commission had rejected his appeal for Biafran liberation for Biafran liberation, even though it has received a response on June 19. The Prime Minister Simon Ekpa emphasized that the commission had broken its own regulation and that the justification offered for not considering the Biafran Republic government in SI case was unjust. According to him, the development can make tensions in the region as impunity and injustice thrive. The Biafran government wants to officially inform the Biafran people and the world that the Nigerian representative Abiola Idowu Ojo at the African court has trashed the filing of the Biafran government. This development will escalate the tension in the region. It is corruption and impunity taken to the highest level at the AU African Union by the Nigerian state appointee. We successfully filed the, com com the communication on the 23rd of May 2024. And on the 19th of June, we received a response that the communication would not be seized. The reason being the failure to comply with Rule 1152D of the 2020 Rules of Procedure. When you check the Rules of Procedure, failure to comply with Rule 1152D consequently, subsequently requires Rule 1154 to be fulfilled and not, and not the response we got, he wrote. The Prime Minister Simon Epa demanded a further explanation on why the petition was not attended to by the Commission. Further investigation reveals that the Secretary to the Commission is a Nigerian, Abiola Ido Ojo, and has violated the rules of procedure which she amended according to the Center of Human Rights at the University of Pretoria. We have further demanded an explanation as to how the procedure was not followed and the commission never responded. We are also taking the matter up, but we decided that the public must become aware, he stated. The announcement of December 2, 2024 for the Biafran Liberation Proclamation was made by the EPA-led Biafran Republic government in Ezai. The plan to extradite Ekpa from Finland had been reiterated by the Nigerian government multiple times. And that is that on that issue. As um, Nigeria, you know, continue to show the level of corruption, even, you know, even 
it uh, even internationally they are corrupt and they will always be corrupt it's as simple as that and they take their corruption to every level to every level they don't they don't care the level and that is why nigeria is not rated in most part of the world in most continent nigeria is not rated because everything in this um, in this so called contraption is done out of corruption they survive out of corruption you know that is why the country is in total shambo and that is why you know the likes of the prime minister simon ekman and the Kano, you know are doing everything to leave this country a country that cannot stand with integrity and equity and this is a total blow you know for the african union is a total blow, and I know the, the I know the Prime Minister Simon Epa. He will go to every length legally possible to get justice and more explanation on this matter. This is a very critical matter, a very serious one at that, that the world needs to look into. It's as simple as that. Let us go further and hear, you know, other issues trending and happening in Biafran territory. Please continue to subscribe and contribute to comment on um, the issues happening in Biafran land. Thank you once again for joining us. Enjoy this wonderful broadcast. You know, there are terrorist men in uniform, unidentified names, is running around the Biafran territory. Someone eh, looking for Gotuku Biafra, which village do you come from? So you can go and burn my village. I'm not that is not even my Ugo Chuku. That that guy that guy that asked you that question, that guy, that guy don't have sense. I was on that I was listening to that space daddy. You know, but uh, you know I don't always go and listen to these people again. I always listen to who was that guy who asked Man. that same question? Who, who was please. that guy? And where is he from? Please. Is he part of this struggle? Please, please. So I was listening that day when that guy was asking you that question. This is uh, the kind of things they always ask. They want to know your family so that they will go there and burn, and burn everywhere down. Some of all these people you are seeing, you know, I already discovered that some Nigeria youth are very, very stupid. Very, very stupid. You have uh, some group of politicians who the only thing they do is uh, when they are in PDP, when they're still in PDP, then they, they will go to APC. They will forgive them. Then, when they still in APC, they will go to PDP. They will forgive them. This is the kind of government that they are running. Nobody is saying anything. The youth, like this, do state own now. You know, when all if all these things happen, I always go to comment session to go and see what uh, what is going on there. If you go to the comment session after the after the result, they are there shouting. Some of them say the only the only thing we can do now is to separate this country. There's no way we can continue like this. I said, look at this, this useless people. These people will be here. Some all these kind of things will happen will be happening. Some few group of people, they are the one holding everybody down. But nobody wants all these youth don't want to rise up. All of them are there. Some of them are I, I even I even left this space. I went to listen to one one of their space to see what what they are discussing. They are there talking about one is even advising them how they are going to arrange your big group. To where uh, for 20, 20 Chai, chai. Some Nigeria youth, eh? the kind of thunder when go fire on her. They wait everybody. See, these people don't have sense. So, no single sense. They only think backward, backward. They never think anything good. And you only see them speaking too much. Too much FA, English. FA, my brother. Huh? FA, listen. If we, if we, if we, Biafra was just you know, like relax with these Nigerian people. By now, our villages would have been overrun by the terrorists. Out, overrun by by terrorists. Uho has over hundred. Even okay, let me just say, most of the people, if they're not well equipped in weapon, hundred thousand full of means. Let's just say seventy five thousand or fifty thousand or twenty five thousand of them are well know how to use weapon. By now. Imo state 
my villages, all that part of the Afra land would have been overrun by now, if not our PM and his ideology. Because those surrender Muslim now they can have already taken ideology of the hopeless and idiotic moronic Soludo and the rest of them. They have already been contaminated by these people, and there is nobody, even if it's your father, have ideology of Nigeria. It's a completely a dead man, a dead cops working. You know, these people, I will not gonna say anything, just like during December when PM said that no, we shouldn't travel. One of our brothers here, he warned me, I travel, I have the reason why. I have a reason why I travel. You know, some of them are asking my village. One of their best men, one of their best men in Nigeria, if I call it a duty to take them out, I will take them out. If I call it a duty, one of the best men, my own blood, my own blood is watching the ass of the one of the best men. My own blood. And I told him what to do. And he listened. I told him what to do. And he listened. He said, complete Biafra. I mean, complete, but he's in the midst. If I tell him what to do, all of them will go down. But that is not my you, duty. Ugo, I'm not a Biafra. You mentioned I'm not a Biafra government. You mentioned something about the uh, um Asari. You know, you know sometimes uh, sometimes I will say that sometimes we don't need to there are some things uh, we don't want to say, you understand. When that issue of No, no, you don't need to when, say yes, just, yes, uh, when that issue of Imo State was going on, you know. One of one of there is only one guy, one guy among those group that was going to Imo State. He was the one giving us information about uh, how they are going down their group, but they never know that the guy that's uh, one of my guy. We always communicate with one of them to know the kind of things they are planning and what they are doing. Let's keep that side. And that's why sometimes when it comes to all the security, Just leave that side. Leave that side. all the security, something I don't want to say anything because uh, there are many things going on that time that they are going to emulsate, killing innocent people. But many of their group they died. It's not a joke. Well, let's leave that side. It's a security something. Thank you. You know that one of them was one of them was on air yesterday. You know what she said? I think you give us a difference here. He said that the Afghans are driving Niger Delta, that he trusts at um, Atake, uh, sorry, not Atake, he trusts Tampolo, that the Nigerian government even left Niger Delta so that when Nigerian government wants to take oil, they will take. When they want the guys to do bunker, they will do. And the person that was saying this, and I tried to find out who she is. I found out that this person has something inside that either he's dating one of the criminals gatekeepers of the zoo or something like that. I don't know, but I assume she knows one or two. He said that he trusts Tom, he trusts Tom Polo, that he's going to deal with the uh, Biafran people. You know, that um, Nigerian government, you know, you know the, the reason why they leave Niger Delta, that when they want to take all you, you know, the guys will watch out. When the guys want to do bunker, Nigerian government will leave them. For you to see the kind of strategy these people has put in place, you know, the, but these bastards forget that if I'm not making a mistake, to follow father, these bastards come to kill if I'm not making a mistake. And I know that apart from these bastards surrender mass in the panel, those fools, what they do when they see a strong man who is close to mass in the panel, who has a girlfriend, but they will attack the person who attack PM. If not that PM was chosen for this journey. <laughs> By now, it would have just back off all from everything. And you people know what would have happened. Because I don't have the only page to do that. I don't have it. I will say it one million times. I don't have what PM have, what Simon ever have. Maybe if, you, if I say PM as some people depend, you no money of us doesn't have it. What they do, they attack because Mazin and the Kano come on air and say what Avengers did for him. That Tompolo has to pick number one. Number one. They ask him, What do you want? He said, number one. Release my brother, Namdekano. When Namdekano was there, close to me. And he said it on air. It does not take a few days. These guys started attacking a Topolo. There is a something that happened. Remember, Mazin Namdekano said that he gave 20 million do, uh, naira to Dokubo. I know Dokubo is not a human being, but let's just say, I started, I started, I, I begin to reason this thing. Dokubo came and debunked it. You know Dokubo? He has a big mouth. 
If the Kubo get that 20 million, he can even tell you that they're off the road. That money was the money that my father that says left that they didn't pay my father finish. At least they have taken the money. <laughs> you understand what I mean? <laughs> he will tell you that, yeah, I paid, but the Kubo said that he didn't get the money. That means the money didn't get to the Kubo. You see, these guys, what they do that when they see somebody, even the Kubo then made a statement. He said, no man in Biafra land have ever done what Mazina they can have done. When he said that statement, then go after Dokubo. I know Dokubo is not a nice, he's not a nice guy, but this is where this guy twisted upside down. What they do when they see somebody who come, who PM, who, uh, sorry, who Mazina they can recommend it, they will go after the person. They will go after the person, bomba to bomba, just to make the person get anger and provoke. You know, all of us are here now. You know how they attack PM. He could get to you see, you, see, you see that Dokubo, um, that uh, Dokubo issue. Um, I don't really know. I don't know if the if the money if we get the money or not. But um, like uh, one of my guys, the one who introduced Mazun Nam the Kano to Dokubo, you understand? So the guy one day I was asking the guy what happened and uh, about uh, uh, Mazun Nam the Kano and the uh, Dokubo. He says he's the one who introduced him to uh, Mazinam de Kano. But when they started working, then him, he just want to connect them because the guy was, he was with them before. You understand? Before he joined the agitation. You understand? So when it comes to issue of uh, Tompolo too, this Tompolo one, do you know that uh, after the kidnap of Mazinam de Kano, they approached Tompolo immediately and give a uh, contract to Tompolo because they don't want Tompolo to do anything about Mazinam de Kano. That is why they gave him that uh, contract, just to stop him from discussing anything that has to do with Mazinam de Kano. So some of all these things that is going on in that uh, area of coastal region, some of us, we know so many things going on there, but we just want to allow some of them to be... There's, let us just focus on this freedom because a lot is going on there and they, they are just using some of our people in that area just to do whatever they want to do. That's exactly what is happening there. If not, yeah, but my um, brother, Tampolo would have said something about Mazinam de Kano. That would, that would okay, you, that know, you know that one thing is that uh, uh, just like uh, the government and the PM, PM is somebody that the gods are with him. You see the damage, the damage of the zoo today because things are getting to elastic limit that nobody can do it anymore. These people have, you know, they have Biafra in their mind. They know that they are Biafra. No matter the circumstances that make them feel, you know, just like the sister called um, Stella Damascus, which is uh, Stella Uju Ujuku. This is her name originally. All these people know where they come from. Even as we are talking today, people from far, they saw their mother, their father, like my, my, my dad. The first daughter was among those that was shipped to America. She started having communication even when she had 10 children. The communication was captured. They, they, they disconnected my father. According to what I had, the communication was disconnected after she had the 10 children. Where they, I don't know where they shipped the first daughter of my father. My point is that all of them know where they come from. But the decay of Nigeria today was shifting these people to their position. It doesn't, it, they, all of them, all of them know where, it, because he made mention of uh, uh, Topol. The reason why they give him, because, you know, Mazen Nam, the Canada is one thing that he doesn't mention names. But when he mentioned the name of Topolo, that is where the zoo know that they needed to do that. They needed to do that to stop him. Because they know that his involvement, because he's a Biafran. And I believe that his act at the first place, he has the love of his brother. That's how, that is one thing about the Biafran. A full-blooded Biafra love his people more than anything you can ever think of. No matter that most of them today, zoo has contaminated it, most of them that they don't even want to think about their own blood anymore. They are just interested. Some of them focus their mind. Their three children has to get the house in Canada, the US, and the wherever, Can Australia, or they just want to get that opportunity to, you know, to settle them. You know, each and every one they have this mentality. Let me settle my children. And the only way they can settle their children, you know, they don't have a job. You cannot be able to find them on the Google and find their source of income. The only source of income is sabotage and get the money and settle their children because they know that their debt is just right there. Because what they have done to their people, all the money they use to settle their children belong to the poor people. 
So the only thing that the decay of Nigeria today is keeping all of them on the toes. And one thing about the African people is that they know where they come from. People like me, I don't want to say anything, but I know where this thing is going to end. And thank God for the PM because he's a man, he's a kind human being. He's so kind that I strongly believe that the even some Biafrans will get angry at the end of the day. But you don't need to get angry. That's what you need to do. Because these people was ignorant. These people was desperate. These people has no other option. I know that some Biafrans will like walk a far. But someone like me, I know where everything will end. Because the man in charge, not just PM, Mazin and the Khan is a very kind person. You're going to see your brothers, even those that you think that, oh, they have no other option to follow the rules. And when there is a rules and regulation and a policy that threatens the mind of men, and men knowing that their children, it doesn't need to struggle, it doesn't need to sell out to send your children to school. When you look from your balcony, you see a massive research center belong to your children. You have no other option to be a real Biafra. And I know that some people, some people should be getting ready that you may feel like, what the hell? Why are they here? But they have to be there. But the condition they put them make them do so many things that is, they're not supposed to do. But you that was not contaminated, you just have to give glory to the gods that he was not among these people. Because at the end of the day, it's not going to be so easy. But some people may find it easy and some people may be mad. So when you talk about this uh, uh, um, this guy, what they call it, uh, um, Tompolo, yeah, the contract they give to him, they know the reason why. They give it to him because they know that his involvement, uh, it may be, you know, it may help things faster than, you know, it may help, it may do things that Zoo may not, because Zoo knows that who the guy is. But today, you see if you know you see how the things has how things has been so well i don't i don't want to go there but it's a security something and a, it's something that you have to be very very careful with so i just have to leave it there because you see that i'm trying to beat around the bush but it's not my own say you know so someone else can just go ahead because uh, it's not something that someone have to go in go into at this moment. That's something.